call for a Ford that is stuck out here in Warner Valley in the sand. I got my dad with me. Oh, actually, I have Peanut with me. And I got, oh my goodness. And I got my dad. Yeah, we're going to head out here, see if we can get him out. Aren't we, Peanut? Oh, Peanut, this is unacceptable. <laughs> Completely unacceptable. So you've already had a full day. Yeah, this is the second job today. I went and got a rolled over F-150 today, and I think we're going to get a 90s F-250 right now. spotted the customer here and they look stuck. Well, let's look at this. Oh, you got a chain here. Yeah, the Ford Ranger tried to get me out of there. So. Alright, let's get this chain off of here. The problem we have here is we've only got two-wheel drive because I haven't fixed it yet. So let's try, let's get the front end of this truck pulled over. Okay. We'll be in a better situation because at least the front won't be stuck then. Is that your 20 footer? Yeah. Okay. You're not going to get a chance to find the end of your rope. And when you do hit the end of the rope, you're going to have zero traction. So don't dig yourself any holes. Right. So I'm going to jump in this truck. up about two feet. Right there. This is basically going to be everything you got. Okay. I'll beat my horn when it's time to go. Thing deep. Go that way. Nice and gentle. doing a trail ride and I was having Rhett do a front dig with the Morver and he got a little frisky with the brakes and a little frisky with the gas something popped in the front end we got to get that fixed quick but the banana's still down and that's because we're waiting on a harness for it. so yeah when we get the harness for the banana that should fix it and then we can tear into the Morver but really in two-wheel drive the Morver is a pretty capable rig we'll drive down here and get this guy shirt We go. We'll get them out. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Have a good evening. Yeah. I'm going to need you to get ready because the Matt's Off-Road Recovery Black Friday sale is right around the corner. We have deals up to 40% off on things like canvas winter jackets. There's a limited supply of these. When they're gone, they're gone. Matt's Off-Road Gloves, Matt's Tool Burrito, Matt's Water Bottle, the assortments of Matt's Off-Road Hats, Matt's Soft Jackals, Matt's Recovery Rope, Matt's Straps, Beanie to keep your noggin warm, and classics like the Golden Nugget, the Morver, and the Banana. If we're still not tickling your fancy, we've got shirts and hoodies. We've got pullover hoodies, we've got zip-up hoodies. 
Become an honorary member of Matt's Off-Road Recovery team with one of these fine items. Go to mattsoffroadrecovery.com and get your gear. So we got another call. That is correct. And I'm driving because we like to share responsibility here at Matt's Off-Road Recovery. So this guy is in an XJ and he's down by the river. We're on the west side of the county now. We just did some work on the east side. Now we're working on the west side. This is the Jeep. Buried to the frame. So out here there's a lot of these spider web roads and we're coming in from the left side and we wanted to come in from the right side, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it though, that's what's important. We're on the steep descent down to the river. This is no joke. You can see the pit is right there and we're right there. Getting so close. You wanna get out? All right, get out. silt that's down here by the river. Yeah, oh, man, it's rivaling that sand hollow stuff. Yeesh. Scratch the paint. Yeah. All right, we should see him any second now. Nice. See the footprint right there. Powder, that's sugar. Yeah, that's gonna be a piece of cake. All right, my turn to ride in the vehicle. Well, no, you're in charge of the job. Oh, I'm in the passenger seat. I guess the captain never does captain his vessel. He just tells him how to vessel it. However that works. Yeah, just powder. That is crazy. Look at this. Look how low that is. That's crazy. You're a man of few words and work is one of them. Interesting. I don't know what you mean. No, just never mind. All right, the rest is up to you. Okay. He's going for the 30 footer. It's a bold strategy. Let's see how it works out. And I want a soft shaft. I thought I set one right here. Did you not put them up? I did. I put the rope and the soft shackle in here. I might have lost your soft shackle. <laughs> oh. oh. Where do you think you put it? I don't know. It was connected to the rope. I thought I put it in here. I'll look for it in a second. Hold on. It's not as bad as you leaving one of these on the record. We lost it for four days. But we found it. But we found it. This is what we're dealing with right here. Okay, jump in there and put it in reverse. Minimal, minimal throttle. Okay, I'm finding my end of the rope on this one. No, you don't need to. That rope's super stretchy. You can if you want to, but it doesn't help. I think it makes you more timid. Fine, I'll just go with it. So just reverse, and then we'll just pop you out. I like that mechanical okay. windows. So here's the deal, Colin. Here's what here's what I'm thinking as a recovery guy. The, uh, the Morvair is 5,000 pounds. This XJ is like 3,500 pounds. So you need, you don't need a ton of energy in that to pop that out. You're gonna need some though. Are you in reverse? Yeah. Okay. Just like 1,200 RPM. Go. Hang on a second. He's gonna hit you again. Okay, half as much. Okay, that was too much. That's good. That was a little aggressive. A little bit. At least you didn't beep the horn with your forehead. Right. Let's go talk to Colin about this. All right, that second hit was way too hard. The first one you got him on top. Oh, was and then it? You just like, oh, oops. There's nuances to this that you have to learn. You can rip this thing around like a rag doll because you outweigh it by a significant amount. And as always, the cherry on top is the shirt. I'm gonna leave it 
down in the bag. You can decide when you want to get it dirty. There you right. go. Thank you, man. Have a good Are you one. heading out this way? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, that's the second job done in two-wheel drive. Maybe we'll just quit working in four-wheel drive. Wow. Only back up like six inches. Right there. Okay, now go forward. Let's see if Colin does any better. I got seven words for you. Uh, Milestar Patagonia and the Morver is an awesome rig. You know, this is the ultimate game of two wheel drive I've ever played. Did Who's... you see how much struggle he was having there? No. He just about didn't make that hill. He didn't? No. Milestar Patagonia's baby. Yeah, go pick up some Milestars. Good grief. Peanut, come here. Load up. That's it. Good girl. All right, shall we? We sure shall. I've heard someone say you don't need nothing too fancy to do off-road recovery. And they might be right. Maybe you just need a two-wheel drive rig with 40-inch Patagonias. You just need a two-wheel drive Morver. Still up for debate. Oh my goodness, you're, you're crawling this. This is sand. Outstanding. He's waiting for us to make sure we can make it out. I think he's good. All right, we made it back to the safety of pavement, and man, Jamie has some delicious soup for us at home. Can't wait. Thanks for watching. Ah. Back up, please. What was that? <laughs> that, that was you breaking the more bear. This is what Colin just drove into. Go left. What is it? It's the world's largest rock. You're driving to that one next? I'm doing terrible today. <laughs>